Happy Monday, Mustangs! We hope everyone had a wonderful and restful weekend, and we hope that everybody's in the green zone and you are ready to learn and focus and start your second week of virtual school. Today is Monday, August the 31st. We don't have any birthdays to celebrate today, but guess what? We do have a birthday coming up tomorrow, but you're going to have to tune in to find out whose special day it is. So join us tomorrow to find out. All right, attention all fifth grade students who are interested in being part of the MES News Crew. There is a change in the due date of the audition videos. Since everyone was so busy last week, getting used to the way things are working now that everything is virtual, we have extended the deadline until this Friday, September the 4th. So if you want to be part of our news crew and record the morning announcements, please make a short video of yourself delivering some made up announcements. You can make up some birthdays or you can make up a weather report or a menu or other announcements for our school. But I would recommend that you write everything down first. Write out what you're going to say, just like I do. That way, I don't forget anything or leave anything out. So, also, practice, practice, practice. Don't just sit down in front of a camera and just say whatever comes out. Write it down, get it organized, and practice it. Make sure you are in a well-lit space so we can see your face. And make sure that you speak clearly and slowly so we can understand you and we can hear you. So again, fifth grade, the deadline to make your audition video for the news crew and send it to Dr. Williams or to one of your fifth grade teachers. The deadline has been extended to this Friday, September the 4th. So show us what you got, okay? And be creative. Okay, Mustangs. So last week, we all got to start working in Schoology and learning our way around all this new technology. And we hope that we've worked out a, whole, a lot of the technical issues. So we hope that everyone is ready to hit the ground running today with your lessons and assignments and activities. But don't forget to check in with your teacher every day. That's how we know that you're here. Check in with your teacher in some way every single day, okay? I need you to do that for me. And please ask for help if you need it. Whether it is a technical problem, you can't get logged on, you can't figure out how to get to this link or to this course or to do this or that on the computer, we can help you with that. We can also help you with questions about, you know, I don't understand this assignment or I'm, I'm not sure, I read the assignment and now I don't know what to do with it, or I don't know what this means, or if you have questions about your work, right, or about your lessons, what you're learning in your classroom, please ask us. Don't wait till everything is due and then ask for help. Ask for help now. Take advantage of our office hours. We are here to help you, okay guys? Okay. For the parents out there, remember that the County Help Center is open, is available every day, Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 p.m. Um, that schedule's gonna be changing starting next week, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Also remember that meal pickup day is tomorrow. At the cafeteria doors in the front parking lot from 3 to 6 p.m. And guys, I want you to do me a favor, okay? When you go through the line to pick up your meals, I want you to make sure you give a big thank you to the cafeteria workers and to the other people there helping pass out the meals to everybody. Make sure that you tell them 
thank you for everything that you do for us. They will really, really appreciate it. So tell me right now, what zone are you in today? Hmm? I had a restful and relaxing weekend, and I'm in the green zone. I am ready to settle down and get some work done, right? What zone are you in? If you're in blue, what can you do? You know what? You can give somebody a hug. And right now with social distancing rules, it's kind of hard to give people a hug. But you know what? You can hug a stuffed animal or a pillow or anything like that. And it can help you feel better and get back to green. You know, if you're in green, what does that mean? That means you're ready to learn. It's time to log on to Schoology and get to work. If I'm in yellow, how can I mellow? Okay, maybe you're feeling nervous or even silly and exciting, excited, and you're not ready to sit down and focus yet, but you really, really need to. Maybe you need to get up and do some jumping jacks or take a walk somewhere. That worked for me. That helped me get out of yellow last week and back into green. So maybe you could try that. I'm in red. Can I stop the spread? Remember? Yeah, you can. Sometimes if you're feeling angry or mad or upset, you just step back from the problem. And take some deep, slow breaths to get back to green. We all want to be in green. Right? We all want to be focused and ready to work and ready to learn, but it's okay to feel, to be in the other zones too. We all experience feelings in all those other zones. I was all over the zones last week, but I'm feeling a lot better today. And I hope you are too. But if you find yourself in another zone other than green, your job is to try some of the things we talked about to get out of that zone and back into green. Okay, but if you find that it's not working and you need someone else to help you get back to green, please, please talk to someone, right? You can always talk to your teacher or any of the teachers here at Metaview Elementary School. We would all be so happy to help you get back to green. I bet even Tyrannosaurus Rex would be happy to help out. So, now, if everyone will please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all for now, Mustang. Everyone have a marvelous Mustang Monday, and we will see you next time.